The Skaho Universal RCPs does a lot of other cameras than Blackmagic Design. This is the focus of this video. But over here at IBC we have um, an RCP hooked up with an, a mirror from Ari. We have Dream Chip cameras. We have the Sony FS5. And of course we have the Micro Studio camera from Blackmagic Design. It's hooked up on a Rushworks PTX PT Pan Tilt head. And I'll show you how we can adjust the set. But one of the, the exciting things about the way Blackmagic Shade cameras is they use the SDI as a transport mechanism for the control data. And at the booth, we did something slightly crazy, which is, and, and come with me over here, you'll see, um, <clears throat> here we have the SDI GPI link box. We have taken these two dome buttons and attached to the box, and they will inject tally signals on the SDI wire going out of this box. So when I press this button, you'll see the camera in the corner has red tally. And when I release it, it's white again. When I press the green button, I have green tally. So green, 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 red, red, red. It's a lot of fun being at the booth this year. Now, the cool thing is that this SDI wire goes into the RCP right here. And in the RCP, we are enhancing the signal or we are adding the pan tilt commands so you can see from this joystick keypad found on the RCP we can actually move the camera we can tilt down tilt up and all these things um, it's a convenience joystick it's not as precise as if you had like a physical joystick but it's super convenient that's why we call it a convenience joystick and actually it does detect the pressure uh, strength so uh, you can see I can move it fairly sl uh, slowly and I can press it harder and it will move move quicker so out of the RCP, we sent the signal into the inline 10 that has been enhanced with the SDI option. And in the inline 10, we do color grading. So um, just to show you, you can see on the monitor right here that we can adjust the iris of the camera with this knob. So I'm turning down the iris. And on the inline 10, I can do all the shading you already know for the Blackmagic cameras. Um, they are mapped onto the various knobs that we have on this unit. Uh, if you don't know about four-way buttons, it's a great time to learn about them because if you look at this unit, you'll see we have configured it, uh, configured it with a camera selector. So as I press the lower edge on this button, you'll see I'm toggling between camera 1 through 5 and then 6 to 10. If I press the upper edge of the button, you'll see that I'm cycling my menu options. So I press repeatedly and I have uh, configured three different sets of parameters, in this case hue, contrast saturation white balance of the camera here we are at iris lift y which is master black shutter speed sensor gain and finally we have gamma y r g and b and you can see now i i'm i'm pulling some of the red out of the signal i'm adding some green right here from this little box so this rcp is super for field use because of the size on the back you have quarter inch thread so you can mount it on almost any type of um, a clamp if you want to, to put it on a tripod and so forth. And of course from this unit the SDI cable goes into the Rushworks PTX head to control the camera.